Today, we go to Japan. Now from animes, manga, giant robots destroying cities with giant lizards doing the exact same thing, Japan has always been a little different. However, as of late, the one thing Japan can agree with Western culture on is coffee. Now back in 1609, coffee was first introduced to the Japanese by the Dutch. However, coffee never really became a big commodity in Japan until around 1858 when some of the trade restrictions were lifted. Fast forward exactly 30 years later in 1888, the first European coffee house was opened. However, whether it was the love of tea or otherwise, it only closed down about four years later. And since then, the coffee culture never really grew. It kind of stagnated for a while until right after World War II. And after another bit of trade restrictions were lifted, man, the coffee culture shot up through the roof in Japan. And since then, coffee has just flourished in their own unique way in Japan. It's through freeze-dried instant coffee, canned coffee, and Starbucks's galore, to the point where Japan is now the number one consumer of coffee per capita. Now with green tea having home field advantage against coffee, Coffee seemed like the new kid on the block. And as you could see, coffee really initially struggled for a while growing in there. However, it started to become slowly infused with the culture because in Japan, there's never really a best way to do something. There's always room for improvement in your own way of doing things. Well, this started to apply with coffee. From beautiful latte art, to Instagram-esque coffee cups, to old men huddling over their cigarettes and their coffee that they brewed, Japan has started making their own way to make coffee. In fact, this can be seen at the Turret Coffee Shop in the Tsukiji Market in Tokyo. Now this little coffee shop is actually named after the little uh, carts that the boys drive around through the market. Now this tiny little cafe only has just a couple tables and only a few chairs. However, it is not only loved locally but globally with well-received reviews all around. Now it serves up the classics like your lattes, your Americanos, but again, it gives it its own cultural twist with its peanut butter latte macchiato. Now, whether you love or you hate Japanese culture, you've got to admit, it gives its own little twist on everything that comes in touch with it, including coffee. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was one that I was really inspired from my latest video, the uh, Coffee Samurai. And I thought, man, I bet coffee in Japan is absolutely awesome and bizarre. And really, it's actually its own unique blend of coffee goodness. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have an idea for a video, if you have um, any thoughts towards the video, please comment down below. If you liked it, hey, like it. If you want to share it to all your Japanese loving buddies, share it, please. I would love you forever. Let's go brew up some love for somebody.